Okay, I have a really fun effect to show you today. I call it the magic six hour clock. Okay, so as you can see, I have two blue back decks here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, mix these kind of independently. Okay, uh, because we will be using both of them uh, to some degree, as you'll see. Okay, and you're going to make all the choices, actually. Okay, that's a little table wash for the first one. I'll try to keep it in camera. There we go. And then we'll kind of mix this one as well. Okay, there we go. I think that's probably pretty mixed up. Kind of going off the pad here. <laughs> Just collect these up. Okay, very good. And now what I need you to do is I need you to point to either one of these decks. Okay, so it's your choice. And that's the one we'll work with at the beginning. Let me make sure I keep that in camera view. Maybe I'll adjust this one a little bit because it's kind of going off. Okay, so which of these would you like? The left or the right to, for me to work with first? Left? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, well, why don't we go ahead and just start at a random location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal out a six hour clock. Okay, so there's the hour one, and then maybe we'll get rid of a bunch of them. Uh, it's hour two, oh, get rid of some. <laughs> Three, uh, four is at the bottom, get rid of them. Five, get rid of a bunch of them, and then six. Okay, it's a small little six hour clock. And now over here, we'll do kind of something similar. Um, why don't we go ahead and just cut it so that we ha we're at a random location. Now I'm going to set down a card on each one of these, but you can tell me like, you know, wh which time should I put the card on? One through six. Okay, so first card, where should that go? Hour six, okay, so right there. Uh, maybe we'll get rid, rid of some, I guess. Uh, what about this one? Four, okay. What about the next one? Five, okay. What about the next one? Three, okay. What about the next one? Two, two, okay, that's fine. And then I just think we need one for one. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to pick these up according to your request. Uh, which one should I pick up first? Hour two, okay. And then what, six? Okay, and then four, that'd be fine. Five, I think is right there. One, good, and then that leaves three. Okay, very good. Now I should have 12 cards here, um, and it's because we're gonna have two cards at each hour, right? And 12 divided by two is six. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's scramble these again, just make sure we don't know where we're starting even. I'm going to uh, move two cards, Kind of like we were doing before with just one, but I'm going to build a six hour clock again. We're gonna get really good at doing this. Uh, in fact, we're, we only do it a three times, so don't, <laughs> don't stress out that we're gonna do this multiple times. Okay, so now what I need you to do is state any hour between one and six. I'll pick up the pair, two, okay? Now you have a choice. We can leave the cards as is or flip them over. And we're gonna like stack them together randomly. You want flip? Okay. What next hour do you want? Six? Okay. So leave as is or flip? Leave? Okay. Uh, what's the next hour you'd like me to work with? One. Okay. So should we leave or flip? You want it flipped? Okay. Very good. Um, now what about here? I think this is three, four, five. You want four? You want this one? Flipped, okay, that's, oh, that's cool. A couple of <laughs> black kings, that was serendipity. Uh, what about three or five? You want three? Oh, I'm dropping the cards. You want leave or flip? Just leave it the way it is. And then what about five? Should I leave the pair as is or flip it? Flip it, okay. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? That's not part of the trick, I promised you. <laughs> we got three kings. Whoa, okay, and you won't get that, by the way. This, that was just chance. Okay, now what I need from you is a random odd number between one and 11. It's truly a free choice. You want seven? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. And then we're going to go through this uh, process again, uh, just one more time, actually, so don't lose heart here. Uh, but you have to realize that you're making all the choices here. I'm just kind of building the clock and then you're stating what time we work with and that kind of thing, okay? So which time should I pick up first? One o'clock? Leave or flip? Flip, okay, very good. What about now? 
Four o'clock. Leave or flip? Leave. Okay. Uh, next. Five. Leave or flip? Leave. Okay. And what about next? Two. So two's right here. Leave or flip? Flip. Okay. And I think that's six o'clock. What do you want for six o'clock? Leave. And what about for, I think it's three. Leave or flip? Flip. Okay. And then I just need a final odd number between uh, one and eleven. I want five. One, two, three, four, five. Top the rest on top. Okay, so you would have to agree that your choices have very much dictated the current order of the cards. There's no way around that. In fact, your final choice of five, where I dealt five cards, brought the ace of clubs to the top. Your choice, okay? Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're simply going to deal out the cards, uh, keeping camera view into a six hour clock one final time. Here we'll just do it as single cards here. Uh, one, then two, three, four, five, and six o'clock. Okay. Oh, now you may notice that off to the right in camera view the whole time, I have a written prediction. What is that about? Let's see, let's just check it here. Um, if cards in a pair face the same way, then they have the same color. Okay, let's just see. Oh, a couple of things here. That's interesting. Pointing the same way, they're both red. Excellent. What about over here? Uh, those are not the same way. Those aren't, oh, these are. Here we go. These are pointing the same way. They better be the same color according to our prediction. Oh, they are, yes. Very good. What about these? Okay, the rest are not pointing the same way. Whoa, that is absolutely amazing. How could I have written this prediction before all of these random choices were made by you? What's that? You'd like to see what cards are face down? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There, I, I forgot that there's more here. And, and what? If cards in a pair face the opposite way, then they have the opposite color. There is no way this could possibly be true with the truly random, unpredictable choices made by you, unless you're just like amazing, you're just connected with the universe. Okay, so what this last prediction is saying, it's referring to these final pairs because these are pairs that face the opposite way to each other within the pair. And the claim is they'll be of opposite color. Oh boy, what do you think the chances are? Okay, so face the opposite way. Here's the black, this one better be red. Oh, it is indeed. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm excited to see this as well. Uh, facing opposite ways, we see a black, we better see a red. Oh, we do. Okay, here, some of our kings are showing up here. Uh, these are fa uh, facing opposite ways. This, and we see a red there. So this one, but oh, it's a black king. Those black kings are coming out. And then these are facing opposite ways to each other. We see a black. This one better be, oh, it is red indeed. Oh boy, how in the world did you do that? That is absolutely amazing. Okay, so how did you do that? Okay, well, with a little help from me, uh, you did it actually, okay? So let me just bring a write up and I don't know if I'll tell you everything because some of it is, I think, easy enough for you to deduce uh, without help from me. Um, but this is based on an extension, and I really need to make that uh, emphasize that. This is an extension of the Hummer principle. And it is an extension of the Hummer principle in a way that I believe has never been presented before, except possibly on in some of my other videos that deal with going beyond the Hummer principle. So in the description below, I'll add a series and a number of videos that talk about 
not only the Hummer principle, which is one worth mastering, it's just amazing, but also my work in going beyond the Hummer principle to ratchet up the impossibility of certain card effects. And that's what I've done here. Okay, so what you need to start with is any alternating packet. So it needs to be even size. Um, now I chose 12 cards to work with so that we could do this six hour clock kind of routine. Um, but it needs to alternate something either here. It was alternating red black throughout for 12 cards. It could it could alternate number card face card or even value card odd value card. So any kind of dichotomous characteristic that you want to focus on and have the cards alternate for all 12 cards. Uh, that's where we start. Okay. Now think about, and I'm sure someone in the comments com below can fill in this one step. How is it that my starting packet with what I showed you, how is it that I could possibly have guaranteed to have built an alternating 12 card packet of red and black cards. Okay, so just give that a little bit of thought. You may have a different way of, of getting to a packet of 12 cards that alternates in color. There's many ways to do it. And the way I did it here, I've never seen before, but I thought it would be a fun way to do it. Um, so if you really struggle, just let me know in the comments below and I'll kind of explain the initial setup that I did to get it into an alternating red black packet of 12 cards. But I think most of you can figure out that step. Now, once it's in that organization, we perform anything that's equivalent to a Hummer shuffle. And what I've been doing where I put pairs down for the six hour clock, randomly pick up any of them and then give you the choice to randomly leave as is or flip that is a way to achieve a Hummer shuffle. Okay, it's a, a way to do it that has been used by others. Okay, so I, I performed a Hummer shuffle and then in between each Hummer shuffle, I gave you a chance to choose any odd number between one and 11. And that's true, so you can deal out like three cards, five, seven, nine, 11, I guess, um, to the table and then you drop the rest on top. That will not harm a Hummer shuffled packet. Okay, so I had to choose just one odd value card and then I did another Hummer shuffle with these pairs for each hour in the six hour clock. Have you pick them up randomly and flip randomly if you would like. Okay, and then I asked you for one final odd value between one and 11. And I don't remember what it was, maybe it was five. And so I dealt five cards to the table, dropped the rest on top, and then we're ready to go. And then from there, what I did was I just dealt out the top card. I just put it for hour one, two, three, four, five, six for our six hour clock. And then the next set of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're all done. The prediction I wrote is going to perfectly represent the outcome of this amazing effect. Okay. And the secret is, and, and this dealing out that I did kind of twice into the six hours of this clock, that's the step that goes beyond the traditional Hummer performance or routine. Okay. And then the secret behind that, how do you interpret things? Well, once you've done that and you're at that final six hour clock, it will be the case that if cards in a pair face the same way as each other, okay, so they're facing the same way like this, then they'll have to be of the same color. If they don't face the same way, they face something like that or something like this, you know, opposite to each other, then they would have to be of opposite color. Okay, and you saw that in action. That actually did happen. Our prediction nailed it, okay? And that was despite all of the random free choices made by you. Absolutely mind-blowing. So anyway, I think that gives enough of the secret away. I encourage you to take a look at the, my videos on the Hummer principle as well as my extensions and work that goes beyond the Hummer principle because some of that is just beyond the belief of even the most seasoned 
of card magicians. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.